in the latest reinvent for this year they introduced aws lambda snapta i'll just go through the important points so you can refer for more details in this slide i will upload it to slide share so number one is it uh, improves you know uh, startup performance by 10x at no extra cost okay and typically with no changes in your function code okay next is like basically you know uh, behind the scenes it takes a vm micro vm snapshot of the memory and disk state and uh, you know it also increases the snapshot and caches for it for low latency okay here are some of the important points that you should keep in mind while using lambda snapshot number one is snapshot currently supports the java 11 runtime okay and uh, there is no additional cost okay you are charged based on number of requests for your function and uh, duration is calculated from the time that your code begins running till it returns or otherwise ends rounded up to nearest one millisecond okay now let's log into aws console and i will show you a practical demo of snapstart feature all right, I am logged into my AWS console. But uh, before uh, creating a, this Lambda function, I would like you to keep in mind that currently Lambda snapshot, snapshot is available in the following AWS regions, US East and uh, Virginia and so on. Okay, so before, uh, you know, if you don't see this snapshot option available uh, in your Lambda function, then, uh, you know, wrapper this, refer to this uh, section over here okay and look out for the supported regions okay so let's create a function now I'll name it as uh, hello world okay and remember i told you while uh, in the slide that you no know, it has to uh, currently the support is only for java 11 so we'll be selecting it okay and yeah that's it i will keep it simple I'll create a java function over here lambda java function so it is creating the function all right it's created i'll show you how the section from which you can enable the snap start but before that let's uh let's run this function keeping uh you know keeping this as disabled okay so going back to the code section code please all right what i'll do is i'll just upload a hello world function over here all right so i have already deployed the hello world function over here the source code i'll now test it and this is without uh, snap start enabled. Yeah. Just in a relay test event yeah, and test it. All right. So, as you can see, it succeeded. And if we see the init duration, it is like 435, approx 500 milliseconds. Okay and yeah the duration of this function was 43.34 milliseconds okay all right now let's uh, test this with snap, snap start enabled okay so you go to configuration and here in general configuration you see this option right snap start okay so let's edit it and uh, let's enable this snap start to published versions okay remember until and unless you publish any of your lambda function you won't be able to uh, enable snap start okay all right now let me go to the code all right so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish a new version. Okay, publish. That's done. And snap start configuration is on now. So it is already creating a version of the function. So snap start adds a few minutes to the version create process. Okay. So you gotta wait for some time until then uh, until then I will pause this video. All right, we have successfully created a version of the function. So let's test it. We'll just execute this function now. As you can see, the duration now for init, where is the init? As you can see, the now the duration is 2.48 milliseconds only. Okay, so it has reduced a lot. As in when you uh, you execute, the duration is almost similar to one millisecond. Okay. So see. The total build duration, if you see, it is two milliseconds only. Okay, whereas without snap start, it was around hundred millisecond. Oh, sorry, approx. Four hundred, five hundred milliseconds. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, the benefit of using AWS Lambda snap start. And remember, uh, you are not, uh, you don't have to pay any extra charges. And behind the scenes, it's cre it creates a, a VM, mini VM kind of thing. So every time you, you execute this function, it fetches the, uh, you know, fetches the exact image from that VM. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.